Central Indians, it's been an up and down season, playing in many close games, but having more confidence and potential from the players compared to years past. Yeah, I think um, the season's been going pretty well. We've, we've been in every game, and the games that we have lost, I think, is more on us rather than what the, the other team has done. So it's a, it's a bright future for us, I think. There's a lot to look forward to. I feel like the season's been going good so far. We've been practicing all right and just need to keep it up. We've just got pros and cons, but... Going into a tough game this Friday, need to keep it up, hopefully come out on a win and, and not the season not. Head coach Rick Good has built great relationships with his players since he became the head coach. A relationship and bond that has helped elevate his players' performances and the team's results. Uh, we're looking very good. Uh, like, uh, like Ryder said, uh, Coach Good uh, throws up good schemes for us, gets us ready for each game, and by then he like teaches us to study our players that we're going against, so we should be straight this week. Coach Good has really changed the culture at Lake Central. Before he got here, I mean, after Munster, nobody really expected us to win any more games, so kind of changed the culture, the LC culture, and he's left his fingerprint on us for sure, and we're just trying to do the best we can while we're still here to help things go and help him build his legacy with ours. I love how Coach Good sets up everything for us. He puts the whole defense where that we need to be. He's calling out the plays. He's making other teams be nervous, and I uh, call timeouts before it. He prepares us perfectly for the upcoming week. Right there, you're good about it. Right there, good. Okay, the way this is gonna look is this is gonna be you're an inside leverage play. You gotta play him man to man. Inside leverage, play him man to man. You're gonna be the robber, the inside, the poacher on both sides. So inside here, inside there. You're coming. You're playing this middle of the field at ten, and you don't have deep responsibility. Make your way there. You want to shoulder too high still. Here, right away, if you're the quarterback, you need to be three over two versus three and a half over three. That's their side, right? They throw it over there almost 80 some percent of the time in that Okay? So when you're here, you're going to go that way and you're going to help on three in the post. But the only way you're not is if number two gets inside here instead. You know what I mean? And just play in the middle. He's trying to play inside number two. Okay, that makes sense? You're mashing. You're both going. With a long football season, it's important for the players to stay on top of their preparation and be ready for Friday night. Yeah, just getting my body right. Uh, just like therapy and just little things like footwork, keeping my feet sharp and keeping my nose in the playbook and like uh, film and stuff like that. Whenever you know what the defense is doing, it makes my job a lot easier. I'm consistently watching film, making sure I know my keys, know what they're doing, what certain people are looking for and if they make any certain moves, where they're going, and just keeping my body in shape for the upcoming game. This Friday night's game against Maryville means more for players like Xavier Williams and Amarion Brooks. It's senior night at the burial grounds. 
and it'll be important to stay focused on the game, but also enjoy the senior night festivities around them. Probably just the emotions. I've I've grown up playing with these guys, so kind of not our last hoorah because we still have a lot of games left to play, but really just feeling the emotions of like possibly our last home game and just soaking in the environment because it should be fun and a lot of people here for us to cheer us on and stuff like that. Uh, this week is definitely, this, de this week definitely means a lot to all of us. We all grew up to playing together, so, you know, Lakeshore has never won uh, a senior night, so we're trying to make history this week. You know, we're playing against a good Maryville squad, so the talent that we have this week, we should, uh, at the end of the game, you know, it's going to be some cries and stuff because, you know, after this game, we're not going to have another senior night. It's just probably the end of, end of like, uh, maybe it's, it's probably the end of most high school careers for most of us, you know. So at the end of the game, it's, it's going to be a lot of cries. And uh, during that game, it's going to be a lot of emotions because, you know, we, like I said, we're trying to make history and win that game because Lake Central has never won a uh, senior night. Other than that being senior night, it's a huge opportunity for Lake Central to get a signature win with only a couple of weeks left before postseason play. The Indians want to have all the momentum they can get before sectionals. Yeah, it's definitely very important. I don't think we won two consecutive games this season yet. So just to build momentum going into playoffs, teams could definitely get hot. So starting the streak now would be great. This week is a big week, actually, because, you know, being Lake Central Indians, we're the underdogs against this big, tough Maryville squad. Uh, everybody probably thinks, oh, we're going to get like blown out, stuff like that. But no, uh, only, only like coaches preach is at practice, the only group that believes is us. So we have to all dial in study our plays and believe in each other to win this game this week. It could be our last game, so we're gonna finish it up. Let's go. LCME, LCI three. One, two, three. LC.